sometimes it seems like the databases are speaking a different language. You type in your terms and all kinds of random gibberish comes out the other side. Maybe there's one or two articles in there, but there must be a better way to narrow things down. There is! It's called Boolean logic, and you only need to learn three little words, and, or, not. Using these three words can help the database better understand what you're looking for and pinpoint the perfect articles for your paper. And. Basically, with and, every article the database finds must have both of your terms. It makes the pool smaller. So if you think in terms of a Venn diagram, and gets everything in the middle. So if we're looking for blue and red, we would get purple. Or. So or means that all the articles must have at least one of the terms. It's both circles in the diagram. Blue or red gets us blue, red, and purple. Not is the most powerful. It'll knock out everything with that word. So search for blue, not red, gets only blue. No red, no purple. Not is the most useful when the database keeps spitting the same irrelevant type of articles back at you, like if you're looking for short-term effects and keep getting stuff on short-term memory. The best way to use these is to combine them together. Remember when you had math problems with parentheses? You did the stuff inside the parentheses first? Boolean works the same way. So you can use similar terms with OR to make the circles really big, and then combine them with AND to narrow it down. So we have blue or cerulean or aqua or turquoise, and red or burgundy or cerise or vermilion, which will get you articles about violet and purple and lavender. For a real life example, let's say your thesis is people who use social media are more awkward in person. First we'll limit our results to 2009 and only articles that are peer reviewed. Then we'll do an OR search for social media or online social networks or Facebook or Twitter where we get over 3,000 results. Next we'll do another search for interpersonal relationships or interpersonal interaction or face to face or friendship or relationship quality and get over 30,000 results. Both of those searches are too many articles to read, but if we combine them with AND, we only get about 300 or so, and all of the articles look pretty relevant, but you still don't have to read all of them.